Well, hi everybody. It's Old Ranger Manny here at uh, Monocacy National Battlefield. And there was, I think it was a car company whose advertising tagline was, the best surprise is no surprise. Well, here's a big surprise story that happened here on July 9th, 1864, about 11 o'clock in the morning. And that's when Confederate General McCausland was leading his cavalry troops from the Worthington farm through these fields past the Thomas farm where they were going to engage some Union soldiers. Now the Confederates were very confident advancing as if they were on parade because they were certain that those Union forces they were going to engage were rookie 100 days men. That's what those regiments were called. Men who enlisted for 100 days. These were totally inexperienced troops. And that is who, is who McCausland's hardened Confederates were going up against. Well, little did they realize that taking shelter unobserved behind that fence line weren't 100 days men but five of Union generals third corps I'm sorry third division of the sixth corps veterans five regiments of combat hardened veterans who've been in this war now for two years they're the ones behind that fence Confederates don't know this the, con the Confederates continue their advance jauntily stepping along expecting to brush aside the Yankees out in that direction they get within 400 yards of that fence line and those Union veterans from their concealed position rose up as if one man and fi fired a devastating volley into those Confederate lines absolutely shattered that Confederate advance then the Yankees charged and drove back the Confederates. It was a complete rout for McCausland's dismounted cavalry. And McCausland was very reluctant to renew that attack. The best surprise is no surprise. <laughs>